Hey guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. I'm in Boston. Uh, we just had a real turbulent, turbulent trip. Um, the seatbelt sign was on most of the time and getting uh, getting into Boston, there were a couple points where you kind of lifted up off your chair. <laughs> but, uh, oh my gosh, I'm waiting for the shuttle. My crew went ahead of me on an earlier shuttle. Uh, one of our guests uh, today, I thought he was a UM, an unaccompanied minor. I think you can hear me with all this traffic. I thought he was uh, an unaccompanied minor, meaning that he's under 15. Well, it turns out he's 25. It's just that he's severely autistic and uh, had a couple of other issues going on. Uh, and he was traveling by himself. And his mother asked if we could uh, make sure that he met his aunt here in Boston. So uh, I sent my other crew members ahead to the hotel and I stayed at the airport here with, oh my God, what was his name? It wasn't Hunter. I don't know, poor thing. He was super, super sweet, super charming, super conversational. He loved to talk. So we found uh, found his aunt down here at the ticketing counter, and uh, she tipped me twenty dollars. So I'll take that. <laughs> oh, is that my shuttle? I think it's my shuttle. I will see you guys later. Now this is one reason I left Boston. <sighs> oh my God, so gross. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, but the roads are really treacherous. I couldn't live here anymore, but. I got this as a reward for my good deeds today. Yay, breakfast in Boston is like the best. Hi there. All right, so the last time you saw me, I was just about to eat breakfast, and boy, it was good. It always is. Uh, the scrambled eggs here are always just creamy. Um, today there was a little bit of cheddar cheese and chive, and it was just fantastic. I ate way too much. I got to the room and I was like literally uncomfortable. I was like distended. It was not good. Uh, but uh, got up here and you know I'm in Boston when you see this gorgeous baby poop color on the wall. Charming. Um, and then pulled up my laptop and just browsed YouTube for a little bit and then decided I think it's time for a nap. And I didn't just um, uh, say I'm taking an hour's nap because there was nothing to do. The weather is so gross. I wasn't about to force a shuttle driver to tr drive through these really treacherous roads to get me to a subway station where I could walk around in the snow. So I stayed in the hotel, which was a really nice day. Uh, very soft. The whole day was very soft and dreamy. Um, so I got in bed and I slept for about three hours, which was even better than breakfast. It was so good. There's nothing better than crawling into a big, giant freshly made bed that doesn't have kid litter in it <laughs> yeah the cats sometimes trick uh, track yes if you have cats you know not too unusual to find a piece of kid litter in your bed um <laughs> speaking of charming uh and so i just finished watching a horrible movie on um, amazon prime horrible uh one of those movies that you skip forward the entire movie because you can't watch every moment of it but you want to know the whole story yeah um and it's a sequel and i might even do the same thing to that movie uh but i figured i would pull out my laptop and give you guys a little uh heads up in terms of my schedule for december <coughs> i received my notification what vacation week i did uh get my bid award for vacation and i found out my signori which i don't like at all all right it could be worse it could be worse um, so first, before I start talking about my schedule and my future for vacation and stuff, I want to make a quick um, announcement. I know that I've mentioned it in the past couple of videos, but when I mentioned my giveaway, I always did it in the very end of the video. And the percentage of people who watch the entire videos of my, my blogs is pretty, pretty slim. Uh, people, folks, folks usually get about nine minutes in and then, eh. <laughs> So I figured I would talk about the giveaway earlier than later, just in case you hadn't heard about it. Uh, so much like last year, I'm going to give away a crew cooler. Uh, we're doing a giveaway. I wanted to give away one thing to somebody that they would really, something that's really useful, really, really useful. 
and I couldn't think of anything more useful and practical than a lunchbox or a crew cooler. So um, recently, uh, eDogs had a fantastic sale. So um, it was 40% off, and so I used an, a um, gift card that I had received from work, uh, and I picked up two of those crew coolers. And so I figured I would do a giveaway for the holidays, and I would think about doing another one maybe once I hit 5,000 subscribers, I don't know, or maybe another, another event or something. Uh, but So I have two of these crew coolers. I'm gonna be giving one away during this holiday season. Uh, and so all you have to do, and it's with other people's giveaways, you have to subscribe to their channel, you have to subscribe to them on Instagram, you have to follow them on Facebook. And you, enough, my ego is big enough, the number of subscribers I have right now. So what I would like you to do, if you, number one, if you need one, if you don't need a crew cooler and you can financially afford one, don't, um, sub, don't enter into this contest. Okay, uh, all you have to do is do something nice for somebody else. Do something charitable for somebody else. It doesn't have to be financially uh, based. It doesn't have to be you giving money or product to somebody else. It could be you volunteering to spend time at a, a hospice uh, or uh, to help do a, a toy run or help organize a toy run or a coat run for kids. Uh, or homeless people, uh, volunteering in a shelter, volunteering for a food uh, pantry, doing something charitable for somebody else who has less than you do, who's less fortunate than you are. Um, I was, uh, yesterday's video, when I saw those people uh, living on the rocks by that drainage ditch in Las Vegas, it really pushed home to me that not so long ago I was living in a car, and today I have the luxury of this job and where I get to talk about eating scrambled eggs with cheddar and cheese, uh, cheddar cheese and chives, you know? Uh, so uh, I figured if we could all do something charitable and do something nice for each other, uh, someone who is less fortunate, that would be lovely. So if you do that thing, whatever it is, and uh, no big investment, just do something nice, then pop onto my channel, look for one of my vlogs for, for Vlogmas, it doesn't matter which one, write a little blurb, a little story about what you did, and if you've learned anything or found anything really impactful by doing that thing, uh, also jot that down and inspire other people maybe to do something nice. And um, that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to subscribe. It would be nice. <laughs> you don't have to. Um, and uh, there you go. You don't have to follow me on Instagram because I never post anything there. Um, and uh, if you, um, oh, and if you, if you do have, get a wild hair and you like to send Christmas cards to people, I don't really get any because uh, I really don't have a lot of friends that do Christmas cards. Uh, it might help if I did them myself. Uh, but um, if you look at my about section on my um, YouTube channel, you'll see my um, mailing address. Uh, so feel free if you get a wild hair and you want to send a Christmas card, it wouldn't hurt. It would be nice. Uh, maybe just send Buddy and Eleanor and Claire a Christmas card instead of me. Um, so, all right. So there you go. There's my giveaway. I'll be calling the name for that probably on New Year's, probably New Year's Day or the day after. Uh, so between now and Christmas, do something nice for somebody. And I know I'm talking a lot about that. So um, there you go my giveaway announcement. It's a new, brand new eBags crew cooler. Uh, and uh, so I'm gonna give one of those away to you guys. So let's talk about my schedule. Um, I got my bid award for vacation. Uh, and so we bid for vacation and we get that based on seniority as everything else does. It's all based on seniority. So I wanted, my first choice was going to be uh, the week where I had the second, third, fourth, third, fourth, fifth of July off, I forget, um, the program that I practice in terms of my recovery uh, is uh, celebrating its like 85th uh, anniversary or something. Um, and there's an international convention in Detroit. And so I really wanted to go to that. Um, but uh, so the week I got was the week before that, unfortunately. Uh, and that was, uh, so I'll be on vacation June 20th. 2nd through the 28th. 
the good news there is the 28th is going to be my 18th anniversary of sobriety and so it might be nice to do something uh, to celebrate my anniversary um, so we'll see what that might be uh, I might ha I'm gonna have to bid around um, that July thing because I really do want to go um, even if it means just dropping a trip or swapping it out I'm gonna have to have to do that so I may have to drop swap something uh, and learn how to edit clearly because if you didn't notice, I just was talking and then it wasn't, yeah, sorry. I have to learn how to edit one day. So far, so good. Uh, you're not watching my channel for editing, really, I, I, I think. Um, so, um, seniority. I was going to talk about seniority. I am, I have a note here, I'm currently, out of 645 flight attendants in Las Vegas, I am number 418. Not shabby. Uh, that number has gone up and down. Uh, it seems that people, senior people, seem to um, uh, transfer seasonally because Vegas is typically much more temperate during the winter. And I think if you're in Detroit or Chicago and you want to avoid winter, you might transfer somewhere just for a few months. And that might seem to happen because um, I was like 403 at one point and now I'm like 418. So people have transferred into base. The people who leave always seem to be junior to me. Whatever. Uh, but in terms of bidding, I am number 397 uh, in that uh, there are a fair number of people who choose not to bid. Uh, and those are people who are doing recurrent training or if they're uh, pregnant and not working or for whatever reason, they're not going to bid that month. So uh, I'm number 397 when it comes to bidding, which is terribly important, right? Um, so there you go. There is my seniority and how that affects my vacation and bidding. Let's talk about my schedule uh, for December. I have one, two, three, four, five four-day trips. Uh, and I was successful in finding a line where each trip wasn't really away from base very long. So uh, last week I had a trip that was like 83 hours away from base, which for me is just a little bit too long. I don't want to be away from my apartment for that long or my cats. Love my cats. Uh, so this, uh, this line offered me trips that are all um, at 72 hours or below. Uh, which is perfect for me. Uh, they're all four-day trips, but they're relatively short. So this trip I'm on right now, of course, we have that red eye here to Boston from Las Vegas. Um, I have a 25 and a half hour, 25 hour layover, which again, because the weather is so crappy, has just turned into a 25 hour, hour sort of vacation. Uh, tomorrow we fly from here to West Palm Beach and back. I've got 21 hours here in uh, Boston. We don't get here until four o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, I'm just gonna hang out here um, at the hotel. I brought food uh, for tonight and some snacks for the rest of the trip, but um, the, the grocery store next door, the Market Basket, has wonderful prepackaged meals that I might just pick up um, for tomorrow night. Uh, the next, uh, one of the best parts of this trip, this uh, trip, this pairing, there are no sits. Uh, and a sit is just that. You sit at an airport between two legs, uh, frequently short short legs. Um, but um, a three hour or three hour plus sit is not unusual. I typically avoid sits, but this line offered me so many nice long layovers that I, I kind of sacrificed uh, and took some sits. So this flight, this pairing doesn't have any long sits. The next two pairings are almost identical. Yeah, they're almost identical. Actually, they are identical, but they have different block times. I don't know. Uh, so in the on the 9th, I have a red eye. Um, no, it's not a red eye. So on the 9th, I have a trip that where my base, my base report is at 1.30 in the afternoon, which is really unusual for me. Usually I start my trips with red eyes, but we fly to Portland and we get there and I've got 29, almost 30 hours in Portland. Uh, so I don't know anything about Portland. So if you do know something or if you can recommend something kind of touristy um, about Portland, please do so in the comment section below. Um, I'd like to explore Portland. I've been there once when I was on reserve, uh, brand new. 
All I remember is I bought a bathing suit that I can't fit into. Yeah. I should stop talking about how fat I am and just take some action and go to the gym, right? I know. Uh, so the next layover on that trip is uh, short. It's only uh, just about 11, almost 11 hours. And um, there is a three hour sit in Las Vegas, in base, which is hard because all I want to do is like land, go home, see my cats and come back to the airport. But it would really be a waste. Um, so I won't. Uh, and the next, the next day is fairly long. It's Atlanta, Tampa, Tampa, back to Atlanta and then to Vegas. Um, the trip is credited with 18 hours and 48 minutes. So it's not bad. Um, lately, this trip I'm on right now is blocked at, um, is credited with 1946, which is good. Typically, 48 trips that I like are like 13 and a half or 14 hour credits, which is not good, right? Um, so the two trips that, that leave on the 9th and the 16th are identical with Portland and Atlanta layovers. Um, the pairing that starts on the 23rd, so I will be flying a red eye from Vegas to Orlando. I get into Orlando about five o'clock in the morning uh, on Christmas Eve. I'm very excited about that because SeaWorld Orlando is a great park, a great amusement park. And so I'm going to be going to SeaWorld in Orlando. Hopefully the weather is holding and will be good, uh, but I love the rides there. It's a great, great park. It's second in my book to uh, Busch Gardens in Tampa. Uh, so I have a 25 hour layover in Orlando. So I'll be spending the whole day. Uh, they're open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, so I'll probably take a three or four hour nap when I first get there, but then I'm gonna shoot over to Orlando um, SeaWorld for the day. Christmas, I have to work Christmas. Uh, we have a 610 show on Christmas morning. Um, and I'll be working my tail off. How's this for a day? Listen to this. Orlando to Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale to Richmond, Richmond to Orlando, Orlando to Boston. Whew, right? It's blocked at eight and a half hours. So it's going to be a long day. But there's two things that are going to brighten that day, right? Two, the silver linings. First, I've got an amazing Santa Claus hat to wear in that trip. It's like Oh, down to my waist. Um, I love it. And second is I get the opportunity to meet a lot of people on Christmas Day. And for those people who don't celebrate Christmas, I get the chance to meet lots of people and celebrate Tuesday. Right? Um, so it'll be a great opportunity to hopefully um, be a positive light on a day where people have to be forced to sit in a metal tube up in the air. Um, and then <laughs> The day after Christmas, I fly back to Vegas. I'm back at about eight o'clock at night. Uh, and then the last trip of the month, um, on the 30th, I do a red eye to uh, Nashville. Now I've never been to Nashville before. I know nothing about Nashville. Uh, we are apparently, our hotel is relatively close to the Grand Old Opry, uh, which I've never been to. I'm not a big country music fan. I really can't say I've ever been a huge fan. Uh, but um, I'd be super willing to um, go anywhere cool. So if you know Nashville and uh, know anything good and touristy, even country music-ish, you know, that would be kind of novel, um, please drop a comment in the section below. Um, so I've got New Year's Eve in Nashville. My show time on New Year's morning is 6.15 a.m. So the chance of me actually being awake um, on New Year's at, at midnight is pretty slim in that um, I have to wake up really early in the morning. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. at least uh, to get to the, oh, earlier, earlier, probably 4.30 uh, to get to the airport. So um, I won't be awake at midnight, but uh, I'll be in Nashville for New Year's Eve. And then the next day, New Year's Day, another stinker of a day. Uh, New Year's Day, I'm flying from Nashville to Tampa, Tampa back to Nashville, Nashville to Orlando, and then Orlando to Baltimore <whistles> for an 11 hour layover to recover. <laughs> the next day, super easy. Uh, and that is just Baltimore to um, LA. The challenge is we have a three hour and 40 minute sit in LA. Uh, and you know, well, the, the stinky thing about that is if it were four hours, we would get a day room 
and if it would be um, same sex um, day room. If it were so, if there were an, another guy, we would share a day room at a hotel in LA. If the sit were four hours or more, if it were five hours or more, we would get our own individual hotel rooms. But crew scheduling likes to just make it three hours and forty minutes, so that there's no chance for a uh, hotel room. The worst is you get to sit for three hours and fifty-eight minutes. They do that; that they're just stinkers. Uh, but um, yeah, the only negative about I'm sorry to look at my computer screen here. The only negative, really, the the worst one, is the trip on the sixteenth and the ninth. The ninth and the sixteenth. I've got two three hour sits during those two pairings. So I'll survive, but um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this month. Great layovers, um, if the weather holds, of course. Uh, and um, I think the crew that I have for this month that, I'm, that I uh, share a line with, um, they're great. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of this month. And I've been talking at length. Let me just end this video here. Uh, and um, one more reminder to um, enter into my little giveaway for the crew bag. Uh, right now, I'm going to eat the macaroni and cheese that's in my Hot Logic Mini that's been getting nice and hot and toasty uh, for the past couple hours. Uh, I'm going to sit down and watch um, the sequel to a really bad movie I watched earlier, and then I'm going to go to bed and uh, wake up nice and early for a 6:30 shuttle to the airport. All right. Well, you have a great night and happy Vlogmas. I think it's day three and I'll see you soon. Fly safe. Bye.